These two TikToks had the internet absolutely freaking out about tattoo typos. So today we're gonna look into both of these instances to find out who's really at fault when tattoos are misspelled. So we're starting off with the everything's fine tattoo because everything was absolutely not fine with this tattoo. And honestly, when I first watched this video, I couldn't figure out what was wrong. And initially I thought it was a problem with the apostrophe, but after watching it a few more times, I realized there's a missing Y in the word everything. So this tattoo says everything's fine. And the tattoo artist clearly is just fully in shock. And you can really tell that his heart sank in that moment. Meanwhile, these girls just think it's like the funniest thing that's ever happened. But this tattoo artist is dreading the reality of this experience. I can imagine he just feels this sinking pit in his stomach because the tattoo is fully done. The second skin is already on it. There's really no going back now. So the creator who posted this video is user at the earthy llama. And now that I'm looking at this llama in her username is also missing an L, but she goes by Jordan. Jordan's really open about having ADHD. She definitely has a really great sense of humor about this whole thing. And honestly, so does TikTok. The top comment says, as a tattoo artist, I would be devastated. As a client, I would love it even more. Someone else said, tattoo, $100. Irony, priceless. When things fall apart, just look at your hand and this memory will pop up. So everything is fine. The reality of the situation is that tattoos are misspelled pretty frequently. It's not ideal, but it happens. But I think the reason that this video and this tattoo in particular captivated so many people is because of the irony of it all. In a later video, Jordan and her friend explain that this was a matching best friend tattoo that her friend drew up for the two of them. The pair explained that the phrase, everything's fine, is a saying that they've been using between the two of them for years. And they use this phrase ironically, meaning everything's not fine, but they're just powering through whatever life throws at them. So in a way, it is fine. In this video, Jordan and her friend actually show their original drawing and we find out where the mistake originated from because Jordan's friend was just doodling this one day and there is no why in this original drawing. Jordan's friend is open about struggling with dyslexia and this is just a simple mistake that they made that ended up being permanent. And this original drawing actually does say everything is fine. And then they shortened it later with an apostrophe S, but they just didn't catch the missing Y. And we're gonna get into the claims that the tattoo is backwards in a moment, but Jordan and her friend insist that this is not the tattoo artist's fault because they got exactly what they asked for. They said that they approved the stencil multiple times. And when he was placing the stencil, they said that they were paying more attention to the orientation and making sure the tattoo was straight rather than reading it. I think some people might be confused as to how this might happen because if you type out everything's fine, it will autocorrect to the right spelling. But this isn't what happened with this tattoo because they were trying to emulate Jordan's friend's handwriting so I'm sure the artist just took a photo of the handwriting and traced over the handwriting exactly how it was. So that's what ended up getting tattooed. I can also understand as a tattoo artist, you're not necessarily reading exactly what you're looking at. You're looking at the lines and how everything is put together more so than you're looking at the word itself. So they finished the tattoo and actually no one notices it until another friend glances at the tattoo and says, it's spelled wrong. And that's when this video is recorded of them all freaking out. As we saw, the tattoo artist was just in absolute shock and he actually came on to TikTok to explain his side of the story. So this is TikTok user at ttt.jacko. And this is what he had to say. Okay, so I had a fully booked day. I started off, finished my first tattoo. I thought I was late to my next appointment. Turns out that they didn't even show up. 
front desk staff asked me, we have these walk-ins right here, you wanna take them? I'm like, all right, bet. I don't typically take walk-ins on a whim like that. Um, it's no excuse, I got two children, my second was born about a month ago. I'm kinda shot out, I'm tired, all right, you feel me? It's not an excuse, uh, whatsoever. I'm chasing this bitch up, got it zoomed in on the iPad, not really paying attention. When I stencil it onto her, mind you, you're where I'm at, and it's reading towards her, so I'm looking at it upside down and backwards. I'm making sure that it's straight on her hand. I'm not like reading it, same as when I'm tattooing it. I'm, you know, in there making sure lines are saturated and straight. I'm not like reading it. Should have been, definitely should have been. So I get through the tattoo, make sure it's all crisp because it's on her hand and everything. She shows it to her homegirl. She's like, hey, uh, what, do you, what do you think? This is not uh, whoop de woo. She goes, it's backwards. I'm like, at first, I'm like, that's gotta be a joke. But then they're both, oh my God. Da -da -da. I look at it, I about have a internal meltdown, existential crisis. Turns out she was happy. She liked the tattoo better. It's been pretty good exposure. The tattoo was supposed to be a reference to the fact that it's always up. Funny enough, the tattoo got up, but ended up being better that way. He seems like a really genuine guy. Like he said, he doesn't usually take walk-ins. His schedule was all messed up that day. These things just happen. Clearly, he felt bad about it. People aren't perfect. Tattoo artists are not robots. I personally hate the idea that tattoos have to be perfect because when I look at some of the artwork on my body and I see little imperfections or a little squiggly line here or there, like it's the character of my tattoos. And it reflects that just people did these for me. And I think that that's more valuable than having like a perfect tattoo. And people can really get behind humility and just owning that this was an honest mistake. Clearly this artist is a caring and empathetic person and you can tell that from his explanation of what happened. Also, he has a newborn, like I'm sure he's spread really thin right now. One of the comments though says, wait, so it's backwards and missing the why? And this is kind of a silly tattoo rule that's just a little unnecessary, but technically a tattoo that's facing the customer is backwards. And I don't think that he meant to say backwards. I think he meant to say misspelled, but some people might see this tattoo and say that it is backwards. A cross tattoo is the best way to explain this. So if you get a cross on your wrist right here, and when my arm is up and it's facing me, the cross is right side up. But when my arm is down, the cross is upside down or backwards. Tattoo artists may encourage you to think about how the tattoo will look the majority of the time. And when you're majority standing, your arms are at your sides. So it will technically be upside down. Honestly, most people don't really care about this. If the client wants the tattoo any direction, that's the right direction. There's no right or wrong way to have a tattoo oriented. The everything's fine tattoo is placed right here on her right hand and it's placed reading left to right so that when Jordan raises her hand, she can read everything's fine. But if you are looking at videos of Jordan that are filmed in selfie mode, so when the camera's flipped, it looks like the tattoo is on her left hand and it does look like the tattoo is backwards in a way that wouldn't really be legible by anyone. But that's not the case, that's just the way that the cameras flip our images. So Jordan is able to read the tattoo, it's not backwards or anything, it's just missing a Y. Jordan did end up paying for her tattoo, and the friend also got the matching tattoo, only the artist insisted that they spell it right the second time. It would have been funny if they kept the misspelling, but it is what it is, everyone's happy with their tattoos, and everything is fine. So moving on to our next case of tattoo typos. In this instance, the tattoo artist actually came onto TikTok to explain that she misspelled a tattoo. And she is just absolutely distraught. So this video is by TikTok user at Spriggs with underscores under each letter. And this is what happened. It was like a hard getting up and getting the girls to school. And then I pull up to the shop and there's somebody sitting here waiting for me. Walking in, hey, what's up? Didn't want a tattoo today at all. And they had a cover up that was like their boyfriend's name instead of a heart that I gave them. And I block it out. And then she's like, hey, while we're here, can I get Love Conquers All with a line through it? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And if I'm sitting right next to her, typing on the iPad and the spell correct draws, does a word for me and I put it through and I look at it and she looks at it. I'm like, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? We both look at it. We both look at the stencil. We put it on. I took a picture of the stencil on her. 
showed her she pays and like goes to leave and she's looking at the picture and she's like you spelled it wrong and i'm like dude what do you mean it was spell checked we both looked at it we both looked at it she is pissed and she's calling me a dumb bitch and like and as she explained, the client came in for a cover-up of a tattoo they got for their ex, I'm assuming, and then left with another tattoo that was misspelled. So the tattoo was supposed to say, love conquers all with a line through it. So I'm assuming the client was trying to say that love doesn't conquer all. Now we know that love doesn't conquer misspellings. And this client was not like Jordan from our other story. This client was very upset with this tattoo artist. So much so that she called her a dumb bitch, which is so mean. If a client told me that, I would have to just dig my grave right then and there and lay in it. So the correct spelling should have been C-O-N-Q-U-E-R-S. And what they ended up tattooing was C-O-N-C-O-U-R-S. And it actually makes sense that Spellcheck didn't catch this because concours is another word. And concours means, quote, an exhibition or contest, especially a parade of vintage or classic motor vehicles in which prizes are awarded for those in the best original condition. So it's like a vintage car fair competition, which is kind of sick, but in this sentence, it absolutely makes no sense. In a later video, Spriggs explains that she charged her client $80 for the heart cover-up, and then they were gonna do the script for an additional $40. So that was $120 for both tattoos, which in my opinion is pretty good deal for both of those tattoos. But like Spriggs said, the client realized and was immediately furious, and she immediately wanted this fixed right then and there. She's like, I want it fixed right now. And I'm like, okay, well, you have to tell me how you want to fix it or it's not gonna get fixed. I can't do anything until you tell me how you want me to correct this situation. And like her son was here and like I'm giving him juice and like my daughter's here because I wasn't gonna tattoo today. And like she wants my attention. I hate when I do this, it's only happened a couple times. And I wanna give her all her money back. But at the same time, like you signed paperwork that says I'm not responsible for misspelled words. And like you stared at it with me multiple times and told me it was okay and now it's my fault i'm like <sighs> this whole situation is such a bummer and they did go through with fixing the tattoo that day i don't think they should have done this but this is something that sucks about walk-in tattoos or like spontaneous tattoos your client wants it right then and there they don't want to wait a day they don't want to wait a week they want it to be done in that moment even if it would be better to come back later so spriggs ended up tattooing some skin tone over the o and the u to make it look like a u and an e and they were easily able to change the c into a q we actually don't have a photo of what the tattoo looked like after they made the changes because Spriggs said that the client just wanted to get out of there. So they didn't take a photo of it. We don't know what it looks like now. And I understand as a client, this is a really stressful situation and a really scary situation. But the best thing to do in instances like this is to just take a deep breath and trust your tattoo artist because there's many things that could be done to fix this tattoo. Spriggs also explains in a later video that even though the client signed paperwork that clearly states the artist is not responsible for spelling errors, Spriggs still gave the client half of her money back. And she even said she would continue to try to fix this, and if she wants to cover it up, Spriggs said that she will do it for free. So I really feel like Spriggs is going out of her way to fix this mistake. This tattoo misspelling situation is really similar to our other one in that it's the irony of it all that really caught people's attention and had so many people talking about this. And people were kind of split on whose fault they think this is. This TikTok user at loca for crocs thinks that this is partially the tattoo artist's responsibility. And at the end of the video, she says that this happens more than once, that she's misspelled something more than once. And everyone in the comments is saying like, oh, it's, you know, the customer's fault, like 100% the customer's fault. And I just don't believe that because it's your job to quite literally make sure it's spelled correctly. 
The argument is, is that the customer looked at it and approved of it. But at the same time, you have to look from the perspective of the customer because they were probably under a lot of adrenaline looking at it, you know, thinking that they're gonna get a tattoo that's spelled correctly. Like, I mean, you go to an artist and you're supposed to put your trust into them, right? So think about it. You're under all of this adrenaline. You look at it, you think it's perfect. And you say, yes, like, of course, like, but at the end of the day, I don't believe it's 100% the client's fault at all. I think it's 50-50. I think both should have seen the error and caught it. And that's something that stood out to me too. Spriggs did say that this has happened a few times before, which caught some people off guard. And I can see why, like, is this a pattern for you? Is this happening all the time? Then I would think that it is more of the artist's responsibility. But Spriggs explained in another video that the two instances that this has happened before, one was a switching of Roman numerals and she's working on a free cover-up for that. In another instance was she accidentally made a C into an E and she didn't charge her client for that. So I think that these are honest, small mistakes and this is unfortunately just another one of those. I think this is just a good reminder for tattoo artists to slow down and take your time. And in the reality of things, we all have so much going on. We all have so much in our mind. We all have so much to do. And it's hard to take that moment to slow down and not only triple, but quadruple check everything that you're doing. And that can be really difficult, especially when the other person also sees nothing wrong with this tattoo. On the other hand, the majority of people who saw this don't think that it is the tattoo artist's fault. This video is by user at birth defective and they had this to say. From somebody who has words tattooed on me, I have desert rat tattooed on my shin. Before I even got it, I triple checked it. I spelled it into like Google many times. I even checked to see like what's the most common way to misspell desert but as a consumer buying a product before you purchase the product why won't you double check and make sure that it's right before you get any especially done on your body check double confirm some stuff take some pictures send it to your friends send it to your parent and in the comments of the original video, someone said, as a guy with a misspelled tattoo, it's 100% on the customer if they okay it. Another comment reads, I heard an artist say something along the lines of, I'm paid to tattoo, not to spell. The correct spelling is on the customer a million percent. In the stories that we've heard from both of these tattoo artists, they both talk about having young children and just having so much on their plates. When they tattoo, they're going really fast and they're not taking that extra, extra time to double, triple, quadruple check after their clients okay these designs. And I think that's honestly really reasonable. There's such a high expectation on tattoo artists to be ready to tattoo any tattoo at any time. And there's not a lot of leeway for their personal lives. And I can imagine that being really difficult if you have young children. I simply could not imagine having a young child and doing what I do now. Because when I'm in the studio and a client comes in at 7 p.m., I know I'm not gonna be home until 10, 11, 12. And I feel really bad as a cat owner because I know that my cat's gonna be fed late that day. But just imagine if you had a kid and that kid had a bedtime and they need to go to school the next day. Like that's a lot on this person's plate and they also need to pay the bills and they need to tattoo. I feel like the tattoo industry is really not easy on parents and mistakes like this are gonna happen, especially when people are dealing with so much in their personal lives. We need to remind ourselves that tattoo artists are not machines, they're not robots, they're not perfect. You're paying a human being and humans make mistakes. Overall, both of these tattoo artists seem like they're doing really well, and I'm sure they've thoroughly, thoroughly learned from these mistakes that they've made. I feel bad for the client that was so upset. I just wish that they would have worked more with their tattoo artist, because clearly she's willing to make this right. I'm happy that Jordan got a tattoo that is now infamous on the internet and will live forever online. But I would love to know what you all think about these two instances of tattoo typos. Do you think this is purely the artist's fault? Do you think it's purely the client's fault? Or do you fall somewhere in the middle? 
Do you have a misspelled tattoo? Are you a tattoo artist that has misspelled a tattoo? Let me know in the comments down below. But if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you have, leave me this emoji in the comments so I know that you are a real one. Bye everyone.